ASTMC 172 is the standard practice for sampling freshly mixed concrete. This practice provides requirements and procedures for sampling from four different types of mixers. Paving, stationary, open top, and revolving drum mixers. For each of these mixers, the maximum allowable time between obtaining the first and final portion of the sample is 15 minutes. When sampling from a paving mixer, the concrete is deposited on grade and then five or more portions are obtained and these portions are recombined to create the composite sample. When sampling from a stationary mixer, two or more portions are obtained at regularly spaced intervals. When sampling from a revolving drum mixer, the same is true, two or more portions at regularly spaced intervals. When sampling from a truck, you want to ensure that all of the water and admixtures have been added before obtaining your sample. Furthermore, you want to take your sample from the middle of the batch and never the beginning or very end of the batch. For trucks and stationary mixers, the sample is taken by repeatedly passing the receptacle through the entire discharge stream or by completely diverting the discharge stream into the sample container. When strength specimens are to be made, the minimum size sample obtained shall be one cubic foot. Also, as soon as we obtain our sample, we want to take steps to protect it from contamination and rapid evaporation. Furthermore, we want to transport our sample as short a distance as possible to the testing site. Before beginning any tests, we must thoroughly remix our sample. Remember, the maximum elapsed time between obtaining your sample and beginning the tests for slump, air content, and temperature is 5 minutes. However, the maximum allowable time between obtaining our sample and fabricating test samples is 15 minutes. Lastly, whenever there is aggregate larger than what is permissible for a given test, the sample must be wet sieved over the appropriate size sieve. Now that we have an understanding of the requirements and procedures of ASTMC 172, Let's go through a detailed performance review of sampling from a revolving drum mixer. First, we want to always ensure that all of the water and admixtures have been added to the concrete. We now want to obtain our sample at two or more regularly spaced intervals from the middle of the batch by repeatedly passing our receptacle through the discharge stream or by completely diverting the discharge stream into the sample container. We can now transport our sample to the initial place of testing. Once there, we want to recombine our sample into a composite sample. Remember that the first and final portion of the batch must be obtained within 15 minutes. Since the molding of strength specimens is required during the performance review, the sample you obtain must be at least one cubic foot. After recombining our sample, we want to take steps to protect it from rapid evaporation and or contamination. We now want to begin our slump tests 
as well as our air tests and temperature all within five minutes. And the molding of strength specimens must begin within 15 minutes. And this will conclude ASTM C172 standard practice for sampling freshly mixed concrete. I think you get the camera sideways. No? I won't get back to my office and find this guy walking away sideways? Okay. Alright.